Hey folks! So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lauren and I am president of the University of Winnipeg Students Association. You may have seen me around the halls at the university or even just on the street. Some people recognize me on the street, which is great. Um, I always love it when people come say hi and want to talk to me about things that are bugging them or things they want changed or things they love about university. Um, but I've decided to start a video blog to kind of reach out to all of you folks that may not see me every day or I'm wondering kind of what's going on. Um, and I will warn you, I tend to talk a lot, so I'll try not to. But um, I want to use these video blogs to talk about issues that are important to me, um, that are important to a lot of students that I've spoken to, you know, over the years, throughout my life. Um, and I'm also going to talk about events that are going to be coming up. I I also think I'm going to, you know, maybe invite some of the other executives, or board members, or coordinators, or even just students to come onto my video blog and talk about things that are important to them or events that they're having. Um, which on that note, I am going to first talk about the um, first lead up action that the UWSA held for the National Student Day of Action. So before I talk about that really quickly, the National Student Day of Action will be happening this year on February 1st, which is a Wednesday. Um, and all students are invited to take part in a rally starting at 12 p.m. and then a march to the legislative building starting at 12.30. And it's going to be a chance for us to address uh, things such as, you know, increasing tuition fees and the general affordability of post-secondary education, uh, a chance for us to address the insane mortgage-sized debt loads that a lot of students are taking on, um, and it'll be a chance for us to talk about the importance of funding for universities and colleges in Canada. Um, so as a lead-up action to that, the UWCA uh, decided that we were going to do a snow painting and snow people making, which is the gender neutral term for snow men, because um, they were of all genders. They would have been, mind you, if we had snow. This is Winnipeg, and there is no snow out there, except up until today. So today, Friday the 6th, we had been hoping and hoping and hoping and hoping for snow. And of course, it snows today. Didn't snow on Wednesday. So we ended up going out as a bunch of us, and we had spray bottles filled with uh, food coloring and water. And we sprayed the snow on the front lawn and in the basketball courts on campus. Um, so if you're around, take a look if they're not already covered by snow. Uh, but it was a great event, and we were thinking we maybe do somewhat like more brighter colors um, for the events coming up. Um, want to try and stay away from blood, or I mean red, because it looks like blood. We don't want to use blood, but or any other color that looks like some sort of bodily fluid. But we will be doing the event again, and I hope you'll come join us. I'll let you know when it's going on. Um, but next Wednesday, we're going to be doing an event every Wednesday up until February 1st. So next Wednesday, there's going to be a freeze mob, which is a flash mob, ultimately, where a whole bunch of students and you, if you want to take part in it, part, take part in it, you just have to come downstairs to the Bowman Student Center uh, UWSA offices at 1220 on January 11th, which is next Wednesday, and you can take part. And we're going to go to a really busy area at lunchtime next Wednesday, and everyone's just going to stop moving. And... We're going to have information giving it, we're going to give out information and we're going to talk about the day of action and the importance of it and I just want you to get involved. So I may, might see you next week. I might see you over the weekend in the village where I hang out a lot and I happen to live. Um, so yeah, I'll see you around and if I don't, I hope I get to meet you if I haven't already. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.